The hearse carrying Kim Jong-il's coffin rolled through Pyongyang's snow-covered streets Wednesday, and the escort, as it was starting its journey, left little doubt who would lead North Korea into the future. His youngest son, Kim Jong-un, served as chief mourner, his hand on the car as it rolled along. The procession began at Kumsusan Memorial Palace, where thousands of soldiers were massed in formation. The strong troop presence was one of several signs indicating Kim Jong-un will carry on with his father's military first policy. Even there, some women in uniform were breaking down as a giant poster of Kim Jong-il rolled along, leading the funeral procession. The scenes of mass grief were displayed across the North Korean capital as the cortege drove through the streets heading for the square named for his father and the country's founder, Kim Il-sung. People wailed and screamed and beat their chests as the cars passed by. Lamentations were loud as the cars circled the square twice in their first pass around the city center. The day's public events wrapped up back at the palace, where the escort for the hearse gave clues about who was in Kim Jong-un's inner circle. Top military officers and his powerful brother-in-law, Chung Song Taek, walking behind him. More massive troop formations, another salute, some onlookers on the ground in their grief, and then it was time for a 21-shot tribute. The young Kim bowing his head as the guns were fired. Just one more official public event remains as part of North Korea's 11 days of mourning for the country's second ever leader. A memorial service Thursday will serve as the final tribute to the man who ruled with an iron fist for 17 years. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.